So just one skater to go in this penultimate group. And, uh, she's the Ukrainian national champion. And uh, has been for the last four years, 21 years of age now. It's getting to some music uh, from Edwin Marton. This is Natalia Popova. Good start, triple flip. It's planned to be the combination. There's the Salco with the toe loop on the end. You could see a a little forwards on the way into that, which caused a, a lack of a running edge on the way out. height on the double axle that didn't maintain control of the landing. Well, that was a super effort from uh, a young lady who's never finished inside the top 10 at the European Championships. Could, uh, could this be her year? Well, she really attacked it, skated it well. I have a question, and my question would be about the choice of music. Also, there was an edit halfway through that music, which was uh, a little obvious, and not what you'd expect at this level of competition. The music was maintained at a very intense level, and I've always thought that after 59 seconds, if the music is staying at the same level of intensity, the audience gets tired, people get tired with it. It, it doesn't have that rise and fall that enables you to be interpreting it as well. So I think if the music had a bit more change to it, that would emphasize and grow her, her performance, give more emphasis to it and help her. Because a, a lot of good skating in there. Could do with more flow on the landing edges of the jumps, particularly on the combination, wrapping in. You can see she's uh, right over the front of the skate, but the mistake really on that was on the entry, that back inside edge on the way in. As the free leg checked back, her weight went a little too far forwards, and uh, it's really hard to recover from that. It's 
some good arm movements through the program, but you just feel she could she could give more, couldn't she? There's more in there. Yes, yes, and we talk often about the choice of music that fits the personality of the skater, and and to me that there's, there's something extra, and this music hasn't quite given it. So important the choice that uh, you make at the start of the season. Often the coaches do it, they'll know what you're like or they'll have an idea. Aranyu has quite a, a traditional piece of music has been done many times before, and that can be okay. It's interesting, isn't it, with the, uh, the, the new rule this year, you can use the vocals. We haven't seen a lot of skaters do it. No, because it, it, it's a delicate one. It can really just look like an exhibition and not add to the overall performance or if you get it just right and it, the vocal mix fits the character of the skater then it really adds so her score 49.21 that has her in 12th place remember there's six to go and uh, six pretty strong skaters to go so in all likelihood around 18th place for natalia but uh, the good news is she makes it into the free it's going to be tough for her to uh, make it inside that top 10.